Hi guys, this is me Rohan. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. And in this video, we are going to see how we can uh, send emails using the ESP32 board. So let's get straight into the video. So for giving us such a great response in our last video, we decided why we should not make a video on ESP32 as well. In our last video, we have talked about how to send email messages using the ESP8266 and now it's time to see how we can do the same using the ESP32 board. So what is ESP32? So basically ESP32 is a low cost microcontroller chip that will help you to send data or receive data over internet and Bluetooth as well. Yeah, you heard right over internet and as well as Bluetooth. So basically ESP32 gives you both the inbuilt Wi-Fi feature and of course the Bluetooth feature, but the ESP8266 comes with the only Wi-Fi feature, but it has one more feature that is the BLE one. So yeah, we are going to send an email and let's see how it's gonna be. So now it's time to see the code part since we are not using any sensor, we are just using this board. And you will find the link in the description for the code as well as the product. So now let's see the code and let's understand how this whole thing is working. So now let's switch to the uh, our computer screen. So yeah, we are on our computer screen and you can see the whole code over here. And yeah, this is how the whole code looks like. So you need to make some basic changes over here. Over here you have to add the Wi-Fi's SSID and password. SSID means the uh, name that is your password okay then after that over here you have to add the uh, host of the smtp basically in my case it is gmail.com uh, for different it is different like over here it is written like uh, smtp.office365.com for the office for outlook and of course mail.yahoo.com for the yahoo app. And after that, over here you have to add the sign-in credentials. So this is this will be your mail from where like the sender's email basically. And over here you have to add it and you have to add the app password. Okay, so for Gmail users, let me tell you, you can create a third-party app password using the Gmail account. For that, you have to turn on the uh, two-step verification and it will good to go. And you will get a password and you have to add it over here. After that. In the recipient email address, you have to add the recipient email address and over here, if we go down, then you can see this is the text message, it will print hello world sent from ESP board and you can change this message however you like. So yeah, this is how the whole code look like and I have already uploaded it on my code. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, reset, uh, reset it so that... Uh, like I have reset it and now it's gonna send it one more time and now let's see the uh, in the mail that how it looks like. So yeah, here you can see we have received the mail and this is how it looks like. Uh, I have already tried it, so let me show you. Yeah, you can see it is written hello world sent from ESP board and here we have the subject as esptest.email. I hope you love this video. If you love this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, meet you soon in the next project. Bye bye.